Welcome. I recently posted a video of myself improvising um, a song and I called it Ode to a Rainy Day. It's really very simple. It's just a little improv in A minor. I came home and sat down at my piano. It's raining outside. Felt like playing the piano, so I did that. And if you would like to get starting in, started in improvising, this might be an easy way to do it. So I wanted to give you just a couple of ideas that you could play with. And it's nothing new really, but I uh, just wanted to show it to you. So I'm going to play this in A minor, moving to C major, and it's more of a classical style really. So if you take an A minor chord, A, C, E, and then you just move the bottom note down a half step, and then another half step. Starting with that, you can improvise over that. And what it does is it creates some movement. So you're doing the same chord for four bars, but by moving that bass line down, it gives a little bit more interest. In the right hand, you improvise with notes in the A minor scale. You can use A natural minor related to C major which has no sharps and no flats, or you can use a harmonic minor, or you can even use a melodic. A harmonic would be, and you raise the seventh. And in classical music, a melodic minor would be raise six and seven on the way up, and then on the way down, it becomes natural minor. You put them back. We'll do that first. And then F sharp, G sharp, A. Go down to natural minor. In jazz, that melodic minor scale stays raised. The, the six and seven stay raised. You don't put them back. So if you want more of that kind of sound, then you wouldn't go back to the natural minor. But you can really use a combination of all these. So first of all, um, the pattern of the chords would go. Like that. You could also go. want to do is we want to pick tones, come to tones that are part of that A minor chord, and then move around those. I kept going down after that. So it goes. Then we have a B minor 7 flat 5 or a B half diminished. And then we go down to E7. And go back to A. So basically, it's like a 2. So if you just do that walking bass line with an A minor chord suspended over four measures with a walking bass, keep going down, uh, then you can have, come on down to the F, and then B7, and then back. And we'll see what that sounds like. It's all 
also important when you're doing this to not just keep running with notes, but to pause a little bit so that you can then have the inspiration for the next part. You can sort of get your bearings, let the music breathe a little bit. Let's try that again. First, I, I would say just vamp on the A minor chords a couple of times, then get into your song. I think I'll come back up. I'm going to do that again. You can create a melody that would be like a, a head, like a jazz head that you would then come back and improvise over. Uh, now, for the bridge part, I like to go into the relative major, which is C. So basically, it's the same notes. It's all white keys, nothing raised. So now I've got um, two, five, seven, and one in the key of C. Jump for this if you'd like. And then you could come up to F. And then I would do um, half diminished again. Okay, so let's see what that would sound like. did this I tried to return to my original melody and remember how I did it. Just now I just was improvising everything. But I hope you can take that and play with it. Maybe you can just play along with it. See what you can come up with. Have a nice day. Thank you.